Today we're going to take a break from the Panasonic G7 and videography and move back to photography. About three months ago, I gave you guys some tips on how to shoot with smoke bombs or these smoke grenades. And at the end of the video, I promised you guys a tutorial on how to edit one of these smoke bomb photo shoot pictures. So today I'm going to show you just how to do that. I'm going to show you my workflow. And just to note, there's no right or wrong way to edit one of these pictures. It's all subjective and personal taste. But I'm just going to show you how I edit my picture and maybe this will give you some ideas for yourself. All right, so here is the final edit. I shot this picture with the Canon 85 millimeter lens and it had a maximum aperture of 1.8. The settings I used was I had an aperture of f2.2, an ISO of 320, and a shutter speed of 1 over 640. So I'm going to show you how I took this photo, which is the original, and converted it into this. So starting with the basics panel, I'm not going to do a lot of work here. This picture is a little bit cold, so I want to increase my temperature. Let's bring it to 6500. And the exposure looks really good. I'm going to add a little contrast. And to adjust my highlight shadows and also to fine tune my contrast, I'm not going to play with any of these sliders. I'm just going to go directly into the tone curve. So let me start off by adding three points. And I want to increase the clarity of the smoke. So I'm going to bring my highlights down a little bit by dragging down this point. And now the smoke becomes more visible. And I also want to raise my shadows just a little bit. Next, I'm going to go into this HSL panel. And this is where I'm really going to fine tune the color and the intensity of the smoke. So I'm working with purple smoke, so I want to make it more saturated. Let's bring the smoke up to about 60. I'm just adjusting sliders, there's no science behind this. It's all about personal taste. If you like your smoke a little bit more saturated or less saturated, you can drag your slider appropriately. Um, I want to make the smoke a little bit darker, so I'm going to reduce the luminance of the purple color and we'll bring it down to about minus 30. And one last thing I want to do is I want to change the hue of the purple to give it a slight reddish color. So I'll just bring that up to about 12 or 10. So I'm pretty happy with that. The next panel I'm going to go to is the split toning. And with the split toning panel, I can really stylize and colorize this image. I can kind of give it like an Instagram filter. And remember earlier, I changed the color temperature a little bit, but the picture still looks a little bit blue. And I'm going to fix that right now. For my highlights, I want to give my highlights this area and her white dress. Um, a slight orange color. So I'm going to drag this dropper to the orange region. I like that. That looks really good. And for my shadows, which is this area, I want to add kind of a reddish color just to make this picture more warm. So I'm going to drag my dropper to the red side, um, decrease the saturation just a little bit by dragging down. And you can play around with different color temperatures. Maybe you want green in your shadows and blue in your highlights. It's all personal preference. But I want to give this picture a more orange purple look. And I really like that. So this is my final edit. The smoke is now more visible. It pops out. And the overall picture has a nice orange reddish tint to it. So again, I didn't really do too much to my basics tab. I did most of my work in the tone curve and this adjusted the highlights, the shadows, and the contrast a little bit. In the HSL panel, that's where I changed the intensity and the color of the smoke. And in the split toning panel, that's where I gave my picture a stylized look. If you would like to know where I got the smoke and some tips on how to shoot with the smoke, click on this video on the screen right here. And also be sure to subscribe for more photo and video tutorials.